Hello and welcome to AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr. I have some awesome launches to share with you today. First up, you can now turn your Aurora clusters on and off. You can stop a cluster, start it up again later. It's like a light switch, off and on and off and on. When you do this, it stops both the primary and any replicas you've created. While the cluster stopped, you don't pay for any instance hours. Your clusters stay stopped for up to seven days, an entire week. After that, they return, zombie-like, back to life. You can use this for cyclic apps, for dev, and for test. But you know what? You really need to be creative. Think of an unusual way to use this, innovate, build something awesome, and let me know what you come up with. Next up, we have another instance size for the unique F1 instances. These instances have an FPGA, a Field Programmable Gate Array. This is custom hardware in the cloud. Our customers use them for hardware acceleration, image processing, compression, and even gene sequencing. The new size is the F1.4x large. This one is in between the F1 2x large and the F1 16x large. Not too small, not too big, not too cold, not too hot. You've got two Xilinx UltraScale Plus FPGAs. This is a special kind of programming. You're gonna to have to do a little bit of learning. I think it's personally really, really interesting and would encourage you to check it out. These instances are available today in four regions, including AWS GovCloud. Last but most definitely not least, you now have the ability to build CloudWatch custom dashboards from APIs or from the command line. You've already had the power to build custom dashboards from the AWS Management Console. Now we give you the ability to create them programmatically. With the API and from the command line, you have the ability to create, modify, and customize your dashboards. One feature I really like, there's a new function called getMetricWidgetImage. This one retrieves a PNG image of a dashboard widget. You can then take that image, you can drop it into a wiki, a report, a document, or an app. The graphs that you process through this API can have up to 100 metrics. Take this and build something really cool and share it with me. Would love to see what you come up with. So that's our highlights for this week. As you probably know if you've read any of my blog posts or seen any of my tweets, I'm a huge believer in hands-on learning. You can listen, you can watch, you can read, but actually interacting with these new services is a far better way for you to get, get an understanding of what they're all about. Go for that, try it out. After you do it, send me an email, send me a tweet, let me know what you come up with. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.